day 19 of the cut and when you're running carb cycling i have one high day a week on saturday right so that Sunday after the high day is usually my heaviest weigh-in of the week. And then that Saturday morning is usually my lightest weigh-in of the next week. And right now, sitting at 294, which meets last week's low, matches last week's low. And we're three days early on that, so we are trending well. And it so happens that Airdrie has another pump track. This one's way bigger, so I'm gonna go start over on the kids one. All right, head back home, get done work, go in and get some benching going. And it is push day. I think we're feeling some incline dumbbell press. All right, didn't film warm ups. This will be the first work ish set at 120s. And after last time around dumbbells, something I'm going to be trying to do is get that left arm through a little bit harder. Okay, set number two, big pack time. And changing things up, adding in some incline presses. Number one, it'll give me a little bit more pressing volume. Number two, if you guys recall, the last time I ran incline barbell, it could not have gone any worse. So let's make it a little bit better. Ooh. Not as bad as last time, but still less good than it should be. The sketchiest part of the last set was trying to self hand off on this bench, so we're getting some help. 265 work set number one.
And like, it's not good, but that's more reason to make it better. And I guess we're on to some reverse grips. And I really don't know what to expect right on this third this week, but we got two and a quarter on. Feels good, we'll go up. Feels less good, we'll stay here. Felt a lot heavier than last week, but manageable, so figure we can stay there. And I don't know if it's because I ran the inclines first or not, but holy shit, does it feel like that left side is working hard. Yeah, that got hard quick. And like, even if I didn't beat last week, I did more work before those than I did last week. So even if it isn't like direct progress in terms of bar weight, it still is kind of progress. And on that note, on to JM, and from the warm-ups, you can definitely tell that triceps are already a little bit worked. It's actually less bad than I thought it would be. Okay, 185. And we're going 205 because it's about time that I got last week at these. And running some reverse band dips again. A little bit less band with apparently the entire gym doing dips at the same time as me. The midi band's a lot harder than a light band. And Darrell just literally did 30 dips, easy as fuck. And here we got me struggling even to get to the bottom with a fucking reverse band. So I think like, if anything, it's kind of proves that dips might not be the best bench builder. But I'm not really doing them to build my bench, I'm doing them to build shoulder ability, so 
They're gonna do that for me at least. Okay, and Kondumba flies make Titty strong. Try not. See if we can make the bottom end feel progressively less sketchy. Definitely a work in progress since the surgery. And haven't ran single pushdowns in a while. Really like these because you gotta get the shoulder right on top of the handle and then make the angles really gnarly on the triceps and the bottom end. You just get some really freaking good elbow feel and like really right into that knee part of the tricep at the bottom by the elbow. And you can kind of finish with a little bit of shoulder extension as well to get that long head nice and short. And they're just nasty. Highly recommend. And like, with how abs feel from riding the bike, and with how training looks right now, it is very tempting to want to just slack off on all ab training. But, I don't know if I slack off on all ab training, it's really gonna suck when I get back to actually training like a power lifter. So, we are not gonna do that because we don't wanna suck when we get back to training like a power lifter. And abs are very important for being a good power lifter, so. Yeah. And that is that. Shit is rolling. Not the strongest day, but feeling surprisingly good with this diet so far. Which, like, the bad side of that is, like, knowing how good it feels and, like, knowing how well I'm managing it and knowing where performance still is. I almost want to, like, just be more aggressive to feel worse, but I also know that if I just start pulling calories for the sake of pulling calories when things are still coming off well, it's not going to help me long term. So, like, that's the... The hardest part of it right now is like resisting the temptation to be more extreme because like stuff's coming off fast enough that I don't need to do that and I know that down the road I will need to do that and I want to save it for when I need to do it rather than doing it when I don't but I'm just rambling now so thank you guys so much for watching peace out have a good night